the news for XRP just does not stop. This is getting absolutely crazy. I'm going to be sharing some news that I just found out, information that I do not think we should have access to. And so I have some of the largest banks participating with Ripple, and I have proof of that. And so I'm going to be showing that in this video. We also have Donald Trump and the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, also meeting, which is starting to drive the price up of Ripple as well, currently trading around 70 cents, and it is up about 15% in the last 24 hours. And so if you're bullish on XRP, you can trade it here on Weeks Exchange. They do have a promotion going on right now where you can earn a free 100 hours just by signing up using the link underneath the video and providing your email and phone number. And so this is essentially free money if you're looking for an additional 100 hours of Ripple, this is one of the simplest ways to do that. Now there is other tasks in here as well where you can earn up to another $20,000 and so definitely make sure to check that out. This is my go-to platform. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the news here. We have Ripple CEO confirms a meeting with Donald Trump. And so Brad Garlinghouse has already been in discussion with Donald Trump. Right? I mean we already see a huge transition in the cryptocurrency space since Donald Trump was elected president and so things are definitely changing. Now I have the Ripple Payments direct documentation here. This shows all of the steps that you need to take to process payments through Ripple. And so there's a ton of information in here guiding you through the steps that you need to take. And so there's best practices, there's error codes on here. It's showing the process here for the data flow, right? I mean, coming from the originator to Ripple to the beneficiary to the different features from onboarding, no crypto, there's no need to hold or manage cryptocurrencies, the payment network, compliance, auto retry. And so everything is here that is needed to implement this technology. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the bank IDs here. This is also part of the Ripple documentation. And so we can see recently here that Australia has been added. We can see the different banks that have been assigned IDs here. The largest bank in Australia here is the Commonwealth Bank here. And so we have all of these different banks here in Australia that have been added on the Ripple documentation. And so it's very similar to other countries as well, right? We have China, we have Hong Kong here as well, right? With JP Morgan on the list, who has always been against cryptocurrencies. But the one thing I do want to take a look at here is the, the second statement here. The bank state branch BSB number, also referred to as the bank branch code corresponding to the appropriate bank. To determine the BSB number, refer to the list on the BSB's number site. And so if we go ahead and head over to that site here, we can see that the BSB is a six digit numerical code used to identify an individual branch of a financial institution in Australia. And so the BSB number is used in Australian paper clearing system and bulk electronic clearing system. And so what is the BECS here? And so let's go ahead and take a deeper look into that. This is used to process bank to bank transfers in Australia. And so BECS stands for the bulk electronic clearing system. It is an Australian system that processes bulk electronic transactions and is managed by Auspay Net. And so a self regulatory body composed of 120 members that include leading financial institutions in Australia. And so we can see here that BEX functions under Auspay Net's regulations and standards and carries an average yearly value of more than $15 trillion. And so let's stop and think about that for a second. $15 trillion. The entire cryptocurrency market is worth around $3 trillion. And so five times the entire cryptocurrency market. Now this is just Australia, right? This is not any other countries. This is specific to Australia with their BECS payment system. And so this is massive. And so we know that Australia has been working on a CBDC project here for quite some time. And so as we can see here from September of 2022, ex Ripple executive left the company to lead Australia's CBDC project. And so let's go ahead and take a look at a quick clip here from Ripple. In relation to the state of affairs for blockchain adoption, we're at an inflection point. Regulatory clarity and frameworks will enable innovators to have confidence in staying in Australia. You can't have capital flows and you can't innovate without certainty. Australia is a very large developed economy, which means that there needs to be easy flow of liquidity, easy flow of capital. If we can have real-time payments enabled by blockchain, we're going to have a world where businesses are no longer acting as banks but actually are receiving funds as opposed to waiting for them to be paid. 
the Australian Securities and Investments Commission has an innovation hub. And that allows the regulators to understand how the technology works. It allows the industry to experiment in a regulated environment. Clear regulations will allow innovation to stay onshore in Australia and allow the benefits of that responsible innovation to move to the real economy. If you're a responsible innovator, you're not looking at building for the next one, two or three months. You're looking at building for the next five or 10 years. And what regulatory clarity gives you is the clear rules of the road so you know what to build. There's so many use cases that I see as being valuable. There's remittances, gaming, DeFi, tokenization of real world assets. There's digital identity using zero knowledge proofs. One of the most exciting use cases is bonds and tokenization of financial instruments and utilizing tokens as a means of doing that because you add additional information. It's not just about a digital unit. What blockchain technology and digital assets do is remove frictions, increase efficiencies, and that affects many areas of business in, in Australia. We're seeing really fast movements and clear movements from economies that we would like to compete with. We have a wonderful infrastructure. We need to take those opportunities and start running with it now so that we can catch up and, and leapfrog some of our big, big competitors in the space. And so Ripple is leading that initiative. And so Ripple is going to definitely change the way we look at the financial sector. They are changing the way we do things. If it can be done better, why wouldn't we adapt? And so, yes, in the U.S., the SEC has definitely pulled down Ripple, right? I mean, this has been a very long, ongoing lawsuit. However, there's other countries out there that are adopting this technology, right? I mean, we can see the different bank IDs there. We have Hong Kong, we have China, we have Australia, we have the Philippines, all looking into the adoption of the Ripple technology. Now, I definitely think that is very bullish. Now, in addition to that, we have Novati here that announced AUDD stablecoin to go live on November 1st. Now, this was back in 2022. This is the stablecoin here in Australia, the AUDD, and this was launched by Novati. Now, Novati is a partner of Ripple. Ripple announces a partnership with the Australian payment service Novati. Now, in addition to that, we also have Novati's Australian dollar backed stablecoin, which is now live on the XRP ledger. And so you can see how this is all starting to come together, right? Novati launched their stablecoin AUDD. It is now live on the XRP ledger. Based on the Ripple documentation here, we have received bank IDs for the banks in Australia. And we can also see that they're integrating the BSB number as well. And then we have the bulk electronic clearance system in Australia that carries an average yearly value of more than $15 trillion. And so this is massive. I believe this is just the start though. We're going to start seeing this technology be implemented across many different countries. And when that starts happening, a lot of people are going to start adopting the technology just to stay competitive. If other banks are utilizing this technology and they're able to process transactions faster and cheaper, other banks are going to have to adopt or they're going to get left behind. And so this is definitely something very interesting. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button and let me know your thoughts underneath the video. Do you think this is massive? Are we getting close to implementation of XRP and Ripple? Also, if you're interested, make sure to check out that link underneath the video to Weeks Exchange where you can claim the free $100 just by creating an account using the link underneath the video with your phone number and email. There is no KYC required and this is a simple email registration. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.